Knocked. Good shit. Oh, it's time over here. Both dead, both dead. No, good. On us. Oh my gosh. You're fucking amazing. You're What's so on me. I'm coming to you right now. Behind me. Oh my gosh. Crack, bro. Fuck. It's alright, I got you, baby. You don't gotta. Oh, there's another guy, though. Let me jump down. Nope. Let's it's all right, baby. Quick. I got you. Let's handle them real quick. You don't need me to drop down. Yeah, man. Yeah, no. yeah. Welcome, welcome to the first ever gaming podcast. I'm your host, Stephen Krajewski. I play quarterback for the University of Connecticut, and I'm joined today by Xavier Scott. Xavier, you got anything you want to say? Yeah, no, I'm uh, right now I'm playing football at University of Maine, and I just want to say I'm excited to get this thing started. Yeah, man, we're going to be talking about some real issues and, and getting into some real discussion while providing y'all with some amazing gameplay. Appreciate y'all tuning in already. Let's get this thing started. Mm -hmm. To kick this thing off, there's a general stigma surrounding mental health conversations and almost an uneasiness surrounding the topic that becomes really like prevalent with, with student athletes and, and athletes overall in general. I mean, we see professional athletes uh, like Michael Phelps, Dak Prescott, Kevin Love, DeMar DeRozan, all these guys. The list who, goes on. Yeah, the list goes on who are actively speaking and, uh, and talking about mental health and, and the challenges they face, even at a professional level when they're making millions of dollars for what they do. You know, they've already achieved a degree of success that, you know, is unmatched. It's, it's one thing for them uh, and for all those guys to reach out and, and talk about the issues. A lot of people look up to these guys, and I, like, including myself, like, them stepping out on faith and, and on uh, confidence that everything will be okay and that it's not always okay, them stepping out talking about that really helps somebody, it can help anybody get through anything, you know what I mean? Right. That, might be the, that might be the word that somebody needed, those athletes, seeing those athletes step out and talk about these things. So Dak Prescott was a big one for me. I don't know if you have any athletes that you would say are very influential when it comes to speaking about mental health. Yeah, so Kevin Love was probably the biggest one for me because when I was going through my own mental condition and mental struggles, um, not many people know this, but I was actually diagnosed with a depressive disorder uh, a few years ago, which, I, which I've since then overcame, obviously. But um, an important thing that... Kevin Love taught me was to reach out specifically to teammates to family and just I really just identified with his story and a lot of what he did resonated with me and I kind of used it as a blueprint for myself to get myself out of you know what I was going through so I think just those guys talking about it and raising awareness and even us just now talking having having a nice casual conversation about the topic of mental health is super important in, in um, making it known that if somebody is struggling that they can reach out and they can, you know, go through this and get help. They don't have to do it alone, which is which is what I try to do. You know, being a quarterback for a team, you're, you're called upon as the leader um, pretty much all the time. So you don't want to appear, you know, weak in front of your teammates or your family even uh in the position we're in so for me i really just like kind of held all all my emotions in and you know just reading kevin kevin love's story it was it was inspiring to me and and i learned to you know reach out to my mom reach out to counselors and and take the necessary steps that i needed to take to get better yeah that just shows that two is better than one like we are here to help each other as people and like nobody's fighting alone and nobody expects anybody to fight alone you know like so it's it's just removing that stigma of mental health, talking about mental health being negative and being able to reach out to the people you know and love and have those resources available so absolutely so zay we're seeing a lot of guys like harry miller and miles uh z -Tech, who have medically retired from the game of football due to mental concerns and and mental conditions what what are your thoughts on that and do you think it's a good thing that they're putting their stories out there uh on social media i i do think it's a good thing and i think it started with people like calvin ridley taking that jump for 
other athletes who have stepped away, like Naomi Osaka, who they step away from their love, their their sport to because of their mental health. And I think that it it is a good thing because it will it's necessary at times. Right. And it's it's necessary to take that break, take that pause and kind of reflect and and better yourself because you're the most important thing in your life. No doubt. As selfish as that may sound, it's it's not meant to be selfish in any way. You're the most important thing in your life. You can't help others if you're not helping yourself. Exactly. So, let's watch out, bro. It could be ratty. He looked at me. Oh, they're ratty. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, kill them. Oh, good shit. Oh, different Wait, kid, no, different no, kid. No. On me. I'm coming to you right now. We're good. Stay alive. See if his teammate reach out. Use behind me. Oh my gosh. Good stuff, bro. Oh. Let's go. Where is it? Yeah. Oh yeah, I see him. Bagged him a little bit. Down. Crack. One big one, big one, big one, big one. One selfie. Nice I'm wrapping right to see if I can get an angle. I'll try to keep high ground. Right, left. Yep, right here. Enemy patrol. Okay. Knocked again. Knocked again. Live mark is knocked. I'm about to be you on got him. him. You're about to be on him. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good yeah, stuff. Trench. I could do that quicker, but it's alright. No, you're cool. The amount of times I've died to that. It, oh, crack, bro. Fuck. It's all right, I got you, baby. You don't gotta. Oh, there's another guy though. Let me jump down. Nope. Let's it's all right, baby. Quick. I got you. Let's handle him real quick. You don't need me to drop down. Yeah, man. Yeah, no. Huh? no. Yeah, Next man. time we see somebody, you don't even gotta shoot at him, bro. I ain't gonna use my bullet. I'm a, you know what? <laughs> you ain't even gotta waste a bullet. I don't even need these gun, man. Oh my gosh. No. No. Uh, I gotta play that. Oh, left. SMP5 might not cut it, bro. Somebody flying in. I'm weak. I, got, I knocked him. Right. But you gotta try this Cold War MP5 out. It's actually nasty. Yeah, I think that's something I might need to use. Now, this is a tougher question, but do you believe that success in itself is enough to allow for personal growth and overall well being? I feel like success isn't enough, but it is helpful, if that makes sense. Yeah. You, to grow personally, to develop, I feel like you need to overcome some trials, overcome some adversity. And success obviously will help if that happens, but there are things that, bad things that will happen that really will build you into a, a better person in the long run, so. Right. Wasn't your host like Xavier Scott or some shit like that? Um, mm, I don't know. Very forgettable guy, actually. I, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> forgettable guy. Bro, I'll tell guy. you what. One thing that uh, threw me off was your hair. hair. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. you yeah, had the hat on and you had the backwards hat at the game. Uh -huh. Enemy dropping into the AO. And then the fucking. I pull up the name Fucking. Oh, give me that. Now I get the other one. Because that's just how it works. If you don't die, that's just how we do it. Right here, right here. Oh man. Thank you, Zay. I know you let me get that one. Yeah, I did. That Yo, way. there's a there's a team down here. Do we say fuck the bounty and fight these kids? Yeah. I finished one. I finished one. There's more inside the yellow building. Okay. And for the back. sniper further back. Over here. Nice shots. That's right. I need ammo. Yeah. With there being such an emphasis on achievements and performance, there can be a lot of emotional like distress that comes from it. How did you deal with your situation regarding your nearly year long injury and what sort of mental fortitude practices that you undergo to help yourself along 
Yeah, well, my injury was a huge time for uh, the self improvement and focusing on myself and being a better version of myself. Right. But it it was it was hard, you know, like I, it it was hard to do at times, and it was good to have people around me, have a good uh, support system, and my family just being there for me. Um, my teammates asking me how I'm doing, just something so small. It, it was something that really helped me through my injury and through that time, because I can't do anything on the field. I can't go out and help and fight for my brothers and fight with them. So I, I just, you just kind of feel like useless at times but it's like you're not though you can still um you can still be a huge asset to the team you can still no doubt no doubt bring a lot to the team so that's something that i definitely learned in that time okay flying in what you did let him get the scab steve he grabbed it you fucking oh my gosh yeah so i know we both had our run-ins with injuries in college and i know um, yours happened during a game, which was awesome to watch. It was like you had a great game, and I didn't even—we didn't even know you were injured. We knew something was up, but I just want you to like talk a little bit about that and how that felt, and how your mental going into that and dealing with it. Right. Well, that's kind of just the epitome of of me as a person, and like one of the issues I faced was not saying anything in a way, you know, like not speaking up about something that was wrong. Also. stuff <clears throat> but yeah it just gets back to that idea of a performance-based identity and you know i knew something was wrong on the field but i didn't want anyone to take away that performance from me and that opportunity so you know just being the you know the hard-headed guy i am i just decided to stick it out and you know deal with deal with it after the game really? he's weak cracked him i don't want to bring to the right i cracked him too both cracked Right I think he ran far right west. Yeah. Alright. Oh, he's still here. I got hit by another, yeah. Okay. Alright, we don't have to worry about zone. Yeah, I think we wrap left, honestly. Don't worry about these kids. Yeah. Yeah, so what exactly was the injury? Uh, it was a broken clavicle on my left side. Thankfully not my right, okay. because I wouldn't have been able to throw the ball. Yeah. But yeah, it was, a, it was a pretty clean breakthrough. And it happened, I want to say, at the end of the first quarter. Wow. Oh my goodness. You coming? Yeah, you're cool. Pushing cracked, cracked, dead. Got him. Come back to drop your plates. Yep. Dude, huge kill, by the way. I'm good up, Tiddy. I see him, he's at the other side. He's he one shot. Alright. I'll murder him again, he backed up. He was still running back last time. Could have stopped here. I have one, he could be ghosted. Okay. Well, I just dropped a heartbeat, how dumb of me. In here, in here, in here. This hit fire build is insane. So what would you say are ways you feel can, anybody can do to help them with their mental state? And, Anything they're going through mentally. That's a that's an actual really good question because they say like you gotta you know take the first step of saying you know something's wrong and like actually get to it. But like how do you do that? It's a really good right. question. Exactly. Um, I'm getting out of the lip. Okay. Good thing I did that. Oh my gosh, he's sniping. I'm good. I'm I'll, I'll self. Might be right. able to. Nah, I'm just a self. Just. Knocked. Good shit. Oh, it's time to leave. Both dead, both dead. No, good stuff. Really good play. But yeah, dude, I think that's a really good question. Um, 
And I actually have a list that I prepared to talk about that. So I think first and foremost is you need to get your feelings out there and you need to seek like some sort of therapy or counseling right. and talk with a professional who actually knows how to deal with and who has experience like dealing with people who have gone with what you have gone through, you know? Oh, uh, there's a kid right here on the road. Shots. Some things that I did was like I started meditating. I don't know if, how familiar you are with meditating or if you've ever yeah. practiced it, but it is really calming and it like allows you to get centered and and you know you're you're kind of one with with your surroundings and you know you focus on your breathing. Yeah, I think that's super helpful to practicing having a, like a sound mind. Journaling is a big thing. Like just putting your thoughts on paper and putting you know your goals on paper. More importantly. And talking about, you know, what you want out of life and, and what you want at the end of the day and what you're striving for. Yeah. I think that's, I think is, there's a, there's a high value in, in, you know, talking with yourself on paper about that. Yeah, no, I think that that's, that's a really good point you bring up about writing it down because it's some, it's one thing to believe it with your heart, but you need to confess it with your mouth. I, basically what that means is that you're, you believe what you're saying or in writing down but like actually having a physical thing to stare at having something physical is what matters and that in true belief I don't know what it is, man. Yeah, there's there's more there's more in here too as well yeah i think he just like right that. oh kid flying in right now right up a little bit. that flash bro i'm fucked i killed good. the kid out of the air i got a plate up Fire so. Right here behind this wall. Back, back. Nice. So you said believe in your heart and confess with your, with your heart, mouth. Believe with your, believe with your heart, confess with your mouth. So can you elaborate a little bit on that and just kind of talk briefly about what that means to you? Yeah, uh, well, that's a Bible verse, Romans 10, 9. It, hmm. It's talking about Jesus Christ being our Lord and Savior and you have to believe that he is with your heart and confess with your mouth. Yeah. But I feel like the just like that verse and a lot of other things in the Bible, it holds true in um, a lot of different aspects of life. And it can definitely apply to this situation right here. And just journaling, knowing what you have, what you want to do, what's your goal in mind, and believe it. Truly believe it. Write it down and then cross it off as you do it. You know, it's, yeah. it's always a good feeling to cross off something you have on your list. No doubt. And that's another method of of managing, you know, you know, stress or your schedule or whatever it is, is just write these things down. Um, a thing I used to do and, and I still do is I get a sticky note and I write everything I got to do for the day. And I just write it right on the yeah. sticky note. And as the day goes on or I got busy work to do, schoolwork, write a paper or whatever. I cross it out as it goes on. And, and there's a there's a certain, you know, level of satisfaction in doing that. And yeah, and that'll just help you through any to any part of your life, whether that be school, whether that be sports, whether that be a job, wh whatever that may be, have your goals set out. And I think that's a really good point, having your daily goals set out, like having that get even, right. have your picture, have your within three months and then like daily. Right. I mean, you should always have an idea the night before of what you're going to do the next day. You're always planning for the day, for the day ahead. Right. Up, up top. Yeah. No way you hit that. Pushing. Good stuff. Oh, let's go, baby. Oh, no. wow, dude. You're on one today. You write down like a goal or something and you you get to a point where you can cross it out or like say you yeah. accomplish it. You can't say that doesn't relieve some stress in your life and like make you feel yeah. good about yourself. And like, yeah, and you're that's developing good habits at that point. You know, you're accomplishing yeah. things. 100%. On us. Oh my God. Fucking amazing. Look so at my good. health. You're so good. So much better. <laughs>